Fox. A change at the ballot box might be coming to Minnesota. A ranked choice voting bill is moving through the legislature right now. Yeah, ABC 6 News reporter Alex Cotter joining, joining us now live in the studio with more on ranked choice voting, what it is and what local legislators are saying about it. James and Laura, uh, those who are for ranked choice voting say it's going to give people a more accurate representation of the office. And those who are against it say if passed, things could get a little messy. It's more uh, talking about issues and discussing issues. Anna Froling is a former field organizer for Fair Vote Minnesota. She says that about 70% of elections have a clear-cut winner with 50% or more of the vote. But the other 30% of elections are more tricky. In some states, the winner is just whomever gets the most votes. In others, like Georgia, voters will vote again in a runoff election between the top two candidates. But two other states, Alaska and Maine, do what is called a ranked choice voting. Ranked choice vo voting changes how we normally would vote. Here's how that works. Instead of a primary, all candidates make it to the general election. Instead of choosing one candidate, voters will rank each candidate as their first choice, second choice, third choice, and so on. If no one gets 50% of the first choice votes, the counting continues, and second, third, and other choice candidates are added to the mix. Candidates will then be mathematically eliminated until there's a clear winner. And that's what we want. We want a, 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 an election system that actually gives us what the, the people in that area want for their representatives. But not everyone is on board. Republican Representative Dwayne Quam says he's skeptical about the system because he believes it would prolong the counting process. But not having the results in a timely fashion causes people to do more speculation and they get all worked up. And frankly, uh, uh, I'm not sure if that's good for the system either. Representative Quam says he's also worried about confusion at the ballot box as voters try to figure out a new system. But I, I see a lot of people that are concerned about the, the process. But Democratic Representative Andy Smith thinks these concerns will work themselves out. Any change we have, we have a lot of people from a lot of different backgrounds. Uh, we speak a lot of different languages. Of course, any transition we make in any program is going to have a little bit of hiccups and, and it might be confusing or have some hard points. But I, I just think the benefits far outweigh that. Right now, there are some cities in Minnesota that do rank choice voting for local offices like Minneapolis, Minnetonka, St. Louis Park, and Bloomington. Now, a big reason why other cities have not adopted ranked choice voting is because under current Minnesota election law, they have to hold those elections on off election years. If this bill gets passed, then um, um, ranked choice voting will be um, uh, allowed on these general election ballots for state and local offices. James so Morrow. would it be mandatory then for those cities to adopt this? No, it, no, it wouldn't. They can either choose to stay with the, with the regular process right now or they can adopt ranked choice voting. Actually, um, the Rochester City Council President Brooke Carlson was up at the state capitol last week and she spoke in favor of adopting this at a local level. And Alex, what is the status right now of this bill? It's still pretty early. So uh, in the Senate, they just approved it in the Elections Committee. It's now being referred to the Senate, state, and local governments and veterans committee pretty long one there and then the uh, in the house tomorrow they're actually going to hear it in the elections committee there all right alex thank you so much